There have been a ton of documentaries, movies, and shows about cult leaders. And now we can add one more to the list. Netflix's How to Become a Cult Leader shows some tips and tricks for anybody wanting to start their own following. So grab some punch, put on your Nikes, and let's get ready to chant. Narrator Peter Dinklage reveals the playbook for achieving unconditional love, endless devotion, and the power to control people's minds, bodies, and souls. So not only does Peter Dinklage narrate this, but he's also the executive producer, and it brings some flair and style to the presentation. There's six 30-minute episodes, and this is told as if there's an actual cult-starting playbook that lists just all the steps that are necessary to build a devoted following. Now, Dinklage style makes it come across a bit snarky, but it's not really making fun of the topics, just keeping the storytelling interesting and fun to listen to. The series covers all sorts of topics, and then uses real-life cult leaders to illustrate the techniques. So there are some leaders that are only mentioned in passing, but then we have six that get prominence. Now, the ones that get focus are Charles Manson, Jim Jones, Jaime Gomez, Marshall Applewhite, Shoko Asahara, and Sung Myung Moon. Now, these are interesting as their stories are delved into, but it's also somewhat disappointing that the run-of-the-mill leaders are once again chosen to focus on. I'm sure there are countless documentaries already on Manson and Jones, probably less on the other three, but still, I mean, these are all higher-profile cultists. And I'm sure part of why they were chosen for this is because they had prominence in their leadership and attraction of followers. Now, thankfully, there are others that get mentioned and focused on for a few moments at least, like Rajneesh, Anne Hamilton Byrne, Warren Jeffs, and even David Koresh. But again, these are still higher-profile people. It would have been great to get those that are lesser-known, yet still still successful when it comes to gaining followers. Now, there's a good amount of news footage, archival interviews, plus former member interviews that look and feel like they were filmed very recently, and then we also have academics and experts on cults, and these help to paint a well-rounded picture of the tactics that are utilized. I like this because part of it helps to answer the question of how someone could even get roped into one of these cults to begin with, especially the ones that have those out-of-the-ordinary tenets. Take Marshall Applewhite. Now, if you're not familiar with that name, he's the dude who led the Heaven's Gate cult to mass suicide as the hale bop comet passed by. Now, some of their actions and requirements, they're drastic, like castration. But I also found it curious that Applewhite didn't start to even get followers until he told a meeting of people that he was really an alien. So that's what turned the tide for him and led to tragedy for his followers. Now, for as much as I liked Peter Dinklage's approach and narration, it does make this feel less scientific or even objective, and then more like entertainment. There are even large portions that use animation to augment what's being narrated. And while the animations look decent, they also take on more of a whimsical tone, creating an overall sense that this is more fun than serious. Now, for those that don't normally watch documentaries or don't know much about the leaders that are focused on in this, the snarky approach might be more appealing than an academic and dry presentation. But if you're looking for a more traditional method of delivering the information, this is most likely going to be unsatisfying for you. Now, it's a quick watch, and the production is put together very well, creating engaging topics and then using real-life examples to back it up. The topics are somewhat shallow and not incredibly complex, but the presentation is entertaining, especially if you don't mind sarcasm along with your facts. It is unfortunate that there's not more variety in the leaders that are examined, instead focusing on well-known and well-documented people who already have been looked at ad nauseum. There's some sex, maybe some brief nudity, some profanity, and while violence isn't shown, there are graphic descriptions of violence and abuse. Now, as a reminder, I don't give couch ratings to documentaries, but this one, it's an okay watch. I mean, it's not something to rush to just put on, but if you do put it on, it does have enough to hold your attention for at least a bit. So if you could choose a cult leader that would have been focused on, who would it be? Now, for giggles, I'd love Herb, the cult leader from Parks and Rec, to have a segment. I mean, he's been wrong multiple times, but one of these days, he's sure to get the prophecy right. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.